Today we're going to go over how to cam scan. We're going to start by opening up our application that says CS Cam Scanner. Tapping on that will simply open it. And to get started, you're going to start off at your home screen. And we're going to jump right in to start taking pictures of our documents. And to do that, we're going to start with the green camera, the green circle with the camera inside of it at the bottom of your device. It immediately opens up your camera, and you're going to get your first document ready. This is our inventory sheet, and so we're making sure that our document is on a flat surface in the background. We also want to make sure that we hold the camera or the device up high enough above the document so that we get all of the edges, and that not, we're not cutting it off. You know, there's not part of the document, or maybe just the edges are cut off. All of the edges need to be in the attachment. So this is nice and high and I do have all the edges as you can see so when I'm ready to take the, the picture and to capture the document I'm going to hit the green camera at the bottom. And if you notice there was a green square that showed up in the middle of the screen that indicates that the camera was in focus while it was capturing the document and that's important because it, the picture will not show up blurry or distorted. It immediately takes you to the editing process for this document and these little bubbles here surrounding the document indicate that the all of the edges have been included. So this looks good, it's nice and clear, all of the edges are in so I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark at the bottom. This looks good so I'm going to hit check again. And to add another document, we're going to add our DD619. And to do that, we're going to hit the green camera at the bottom. Again, it's going to open right to your camera. Make sure that we lift our device high enough above the document, again, to get all of the edges. We never want to hold the camera at an angle. Always come directly above the document. This looks nice and clear. It does look like all my edges are in. I'm going to hit the camera at the bottom. All of the edges are in, and it does look clear. I'm going to hit the check again. Wonderful. It looks nice and clear. I'm going to hit the check again. We're going to add our third document, starting with the camera at the bottom. This is our rider. Again, making sure all the edges are in. Take a camera with picture with the camera at the bottom. Wonderful. That green square appeared. All of our edges are in and the document looks clear. Go ahead and hit the check at the bottom. Hit the check again. Now let's just say you took a picture that wasn't clear and you didn't get all the edges in. So if we don't like this, and let's say, again, our edges are not all included in here and it's not clear, simply hit the back arrow button. And that back arrow button is going to be found on the left-hand side of your document, I'm sorry, of your device and at the bottom. Are you sure you want to discard this image? Discard. And it's going to take you right back to that camera so that you can start that process all over. We're going to hit the back button. And so now here you can see all of your documents are in one file. And the way we can see that is hit the back arrow at the top of the screen next to New Doc. And at the top is going to show your most recent documents. You can see the date there. It's 16, that's the year. 1 is the month and 19 is the day. And 15, 10, that's military time. And then 3 inside that square or the rectangle there indicates that there's three documents inside of this file. So if we tap on it, again, you're going to see those three documents that are within that file. Hit the back button at the top of the screen. If we long press or hold the same file, the another menu is going to pop up at the bottom. And you're going to press that first button that says Share. That's going to be found on the left-hand side. We're going to select PDF file. I use Gmail, so 
select Gmail. And we're going to send it to Andrea. Dot Pascal. And we're going to say paperwork for one five seven one two three four. Next to the paper clip and between the three dots is the arrow, or I like to call it the paper airplane. Hit the paper airplane at the top. Send this message. Yes, okay. At the bottom it says sending message. That's how you know that your email is for sure being sent. So again, start with long pressing. Now that we've sent our paperwork, we're going to now going to hit the more button. This is going to be on the right hand side on the bottom. That's the three dots, more. And we're going to hit rename. I'm going to hit the X on my keyboard. That's going to delete the information. And I'm going to hit shipper's last name, or maybe I like to hit the registration number. And I'm going to hit OK. Now the shipper's information is going to be stored in Cam Scanner, the application. It's also going to be sent to my intended recipient. And it also allows me to send it multiple times. So if for some reason I'm in a bad area where the email just simply wasn't sent or there was an error in sending that message, we can go ahead and resend that. So again, long pressing. Oops long pressing, hitting share at the bottom, PDF, email, and we're going to hit to andrea.pascal or whoever your intended recipient is. Maybe our dispatcher is Jimmy. And from here we can, this is a different email application and for this one we're going to hit the arrow and the envelope. So that's going to be the second button in here. So hit that. And, and again, at the bottom it's saying sending email. So your email sending button may look different depending on what email service you are using. And that concludes our CAM scanner tutorial. Thank you.